Lesson 5.6, Composition of Functions. So, the last lesson I said there were five ways to combine functions, but we only did four. This is the fifth way, composition. Composition is when you put one function into another. It's like substitution. So in the last lesson, we added, subtracted, multiplied, divided. This time, we're substituting. It's written as g of f of x. So notice the f of x is inside of the g of x. And it's a g of f of x. It means that the output or range of f is the input or domain of g. You work from the inside out, do f of x first, and then g of x. So if you look at a little diagram here, you have the inside function. This is the inside function. You work inside out. So you have an input goes into f. It then gets an output from function f. That becomes the input of g on the outside function, which then gives you some sort of output. Reality, f of x gets substituted into g of x. Composition is just substitution. All right, so let f of x be that and g of x be that. Find the indicated value. All right, we're going to start from the inside. So we have f of 2. So f of 2 is when I have f and I plug in a 2. 3 times 2 is 6 minus 5 is 1. The square root of 1 is 1. So now g of f of 2, it's going to be function g, but I'm plugging in the f of 2 f of 2 is 1, so I'm plugging it in for the x. 1 squared plus 1 is 2. Let's try another one. This time the inside part is g. So we have g of 3. So g of 3 is plugging in a 3 for function g. 3 squared is 9, plus 1 is 10. So now f of g of 3 is the same thing as f of 10, because g of 3 is 10. Square root of 3 times 10 minus 5. Or 30 minus 5 is 25. And that gives you 5. Let's try another one. So the inside is g of negative 3. So plugging in a negative 3 to function g. Negative 3 squared is 9 plus 1 is 10. So now g of g of negative 3 would be the same thing as g of 10, because g of negative 3 is 10. Plug in the 10. Get 101. All right, let f be that and g be that. Perform the indicated operations and state the domain. All right, so we look here in this middle is g of x. Well, I can't simplify g of x any, but notice it's on the inside. So I'm going to take g and I'm going to plug it all in for x on function f. So function f is 3 times x to the negative 1. But I'm replacing x with the entire function g. So all that is function g. And then we need to simplify. The negative exponent right there says reciprocal. So the 4x minus 5 is going on the bottom, the 3 is staying on top, and there we go.
Let's try another. This time function f is in the middle. Let's change color. So function f is in the middle. So that means function f is being plugged in for x on function g. So function g is 4 times x minus 5. But x is replaced with function f. Function f is 3 times x to the negative 1. Well, we can multiply. The 4 times the 3 is 12. x to the negative 1 minus 5. And the negative exponent means reciprocal, but that's only on the x, so the x goes to the bottom. So it's 12 over x minus 5. Let's try one more. Let's change colors again. This time, f of x is in the middle, inside, so f of x. And it's being plugged into f of x. So I'm going to take function f and I'm going to, well, plug it into itself. So function f is 3 times x to the negative 1. But the x is replaced with function f. 3 times x to the negative 1. Okay, start um, inside, I guess. So this would be 3 times 3 over x to the negative 1. And then that negative exponent reciprocals the base. So it would be x over 3. And then 3 divided by 3 is x. Look at that. It simplified down to be just x. All right, in this problem, function c represents the cost of producing a number of shirts. The number of shirts produced in t hours is represented by that function. Find c of x of t. Okay, so x of t is on the inside. It's going into function c. So all of that is x. So it's going in here and replacing the x. So it's 8.74 times x. But x is 84t. Well, I multiply the numbers, which gives me 734.16t. Part B says evaluate C of X of 40. Well, that was 734.16 times T. But T is 40. So when I do that, I get 29366.4. But what does that represent? Well, T is the number of hours and C was the cost. So that is the cost of producing t-shirts for 40 hours. So cost of producing t-shirts for 40 hours. So it would be $29,366.40.